Hello everyone. Welcome to the video lecture on differential equations and its applications. Today we will discuss the properties of Legendre polynomials. In the previous class we have seen the introduction to uh, Legendre polynomials uh, and some of its properties including the Rodriguez formula. So before uh, this section let us have a review of our previous class on Legendre polynomials. Now we started with uh, uh, the Legendre's equation which is a differential equation 1 minus x square into y double dash minus 2xy dash uh, plus n into n plus 1 into y equal to 0 where n is a non-negative integer. And uh, in one of the previous section we uh, using Frobenius series we found the solution to this equation and uh, we have seen that the radius of convergence of that power series is 1 that is all the solutions uh, of this equation are analytic on the interval minus 1 less than x less than 1. Now we could see that the solutions most useful uh, in the applications are those bounded near x equal to 1. So what we do is that we change, we bring a change in the independent variable from x to t by setting t is equal to half into 1 minus x so that x is equal to 1 corresponds to t is equal to 0 okay so when we apply this change we could see that uh, this t is equal to 1 minus x so 2t is equal to uh, t is equal to half 1 minus x so 2t is equal to 1 minus x and therefore x is equal to say 1 minus 2t and what is 1 plus x 1 plus x 2 minus 2t that is 2 into 1 minus t now using this you can replace this part with uh, 1 plus x into uh, 1 minus x okay and uh, how to replace this y double dash we can uh, see that dy by dx is dy by dt into dt by dx so dt by dx from here you can see that is minus 1 by 2 so this is what your dy by dx is and d square y by dx square uh, is equal to d by dx of dy by dx that is d by dt into uh, dy by dx dy by dt of dy by dx into dt by dx which is minus 1 by 2. So again you, have, you can replace the dy by dx with dy by dt into minus 1 by 2 so which takes you to 1 by 4 into d square y by uh, dt square. So in this way you can uh, find the replacement for all the variables and uh, y double dash and y double da y dash and uh, hence finally obtain uh, this uh, equation this new equation in terms of the variable t that is t is into 1 minus t the y double dash plus 1 minus 2 t into y dash plus n into n plus 1 into y equal to 0. Now, we can see that this is in the standard form of a Gauss hypergeometry equation. So that uh, if possible, we can find a general solution using the previous techniques. That is, let us compare it with uh, the Gauss hypergeometry equation. But uh, we can see that here the values of A, B and C are like this. And here C is an integer. But we know that when C is not an integer, then we can find the general solution uh, of Gauss hypergeometry equation in this form near the singular point x is equal to 0. But since C is equal to 1, we can only ensure the first part of the uh, of this solution. Uh, thus, at t equal to 0, uh, we could obtain the solution y1 is equal to f of minus n comma n plus 1 comma 1 comma t and uh, using a technique uh, by putting y2 is equal to uh, v y1 uh, we could obtain y2 is equal to y1 into dot t plus a1 t plus etc. Now we have the general solution y equals c1 y1 plus c2 y2 however since uh, log t is a part of y2 we can see that to ensure the solution is bounded near x equal to 1 we can obtain such a solution only when this c2 is equal to 0 okay so all the solutions that are bounded 
near x equal to 0, uh, x equal to 1, uh, are of the form y equal to z1, y1, that is the multiples of uh, y1, which is denoted by capital F of minus n comma n plus 1 comma 1 comma t, which we call as the nth legendar polynomial and we denote it with the pn of x. So, we have pn of x is equal to f of uh, this part uh, where you already know the expansion of f of a, b, c, x uh, which is 1 plus minus n into n plus 1 by 1 factor into 1 minus x by 2 plus etc. Now, we could see in the previous chapter that this pn of x actually takes the form uh, as in this expression and uh, once again applying the binomial formula we can say, see that this pn of x is actually 1 by 2 raised to n into n factorial into nth derivative of uh, x square minus 1 all raised to n with respect to x. This expression of pn of x is called Rodriguez formula. Uh, then in the previous class itself we also uh, found some uh, first few legendary polynomials using this Rodriguez formula that is p0 of x equal to 1, p1 of x equal to x uh, and p2 of x and p3 of x. So here you can see the graphs of first few legendary polynomials. You can also note that the uh, degree of the nth legendary polynomials is n. Yeah.